I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and here we are answering comments to my videos. And these comments, this one comes from Brad's Warren for Radials on Vertical Antennas, which is video number 663. He says, when mounting a vertical, in this case a chameleon impasse light, up on a metal mast, should the coil be electrically isolated from the metal shaft? Not necessarily, but you can. You can, especially if that metal mast is grounded. Or let it be grounded through the mast as though using a ground spike. Yes, now a ground spike does not constitute a ground. Ground rods are eight feet in length. And anyway, you don't want to ground the antenna necessarily without using radials because you lose a lot. Ground is very lossy. So even if you put that spike into the ground, you want to run radials out. The length doesn't matter. 10 to 25 feet. The number doesn't matter, but I do at least four to eight. Okay. I've seen some antennas with one radial. <laughs> Add more. Okay. Now, if you happen to put this up on height, okay, like on the roof, what you will need to do is have tuned radials, at least two tuned radials per band. So one set for 40, one for 20, one for 15, one for 10. 15 you can probably skip because the 40 meter radials will do the job. But if you're just talking a metal mass that's off the ground, held up by uh, nylon ropes or whatever that you use there, you can still put the radials out. If that's more than about 10 feet off the ground, you want to do tuned radials. If it's down around two feet off the ground, just spread out radials and you'll be fine. Okay? I hope that answers the question. Until we next meet, 73.